We have new details on what killed a family while they were hiking in the Sierra National Forest. Their deaths have been a mystery for two months up until now. KTV's Christina Rendon is joining us now live in the studio with how investigators believe they died. Christina? Well, investigators say this is a very tragic case, Alex. The cause of death, hyperthermia and probable dehydration due to the heat. The day the family set out on a hike, officials say they were not familiar with the terrain and were exposed to fluctuating temperatures. This is again a, an unfortunate and tragic event due to the weather. Mariposa County Sheriff Jeremy Brees says hypothermia and probable dehydration led to the deaths of Jonathan Garish, Ellen Chung, and their one year old daughter, Miju. The sheriff says the family dog likely also died due to heat related issues. Hyperthermia is when the body produces too much heat and starts to shut down. The sheriff's office showed footage of the terrain the family was in in the Sierra National Forest and released a timeline. Around 8 a.m. on the morning of the family's August hike, temperatures started out in the mid-70s but quickly jumped to the 90s and eventually reached upwards of 103 to 109 degrees in the noon hour. After hiking for about four miles, the family reached a trail constantly exposed to sunlight with little shade due to the Ferguson fire in 2018. Officials say John plotted their route on a hiking app on his phone, but it didn't show elevation changes. The body temperatures, when they become over 105 degrees, can have damages to the brain, can have damages to other organs, can cause muscle cramps, fatigue, dizziness, weakness, and ultimately um, cause death. The family was found in hiking clothes with only one water backpack that was empty and no water filtration systems. Investigators also found a small amount of formula, a bottle and snacks. The Garish and Chung families released a statement thanking investigators. It was read aloud by a sheriff's department spokesperson. Our hearts will never forget the beautiful lives of Jonathan, Ellen, Miju and of course Oski. They will remain with us wherever we go and where, whatever we do. Investigators had previously ruled out a shooting, a lightning strike, poisoning and suicide as causes of death. And at least six water samples were taken from the area to determine whether or not maybe they were exposed to some toxins. And we did find out that, yes, there were toxins in the water, but officials say there was no evidence that the family drank that water. Alex sounds like they were caught off guard by the heat that day. A sad story all around. Christina, thank you.